OK, yeah, Helen Ann, thank you very much indeed, Helen Ann Smith there. Well, more concerns about jobs, because around 18,000 jobs at the well-known high street stores, such as Miss Selfridge and Topshop, are in the balance tonight. Sir Philip Green was unable to get creditors to agree a rescue package for his retail chain. He's been given until the 12th of June now to win them over, as our business correspondent Adam Parsons reports. Here's Sir Philip Green, the man behind Topshop, Top Man and all the other Arcadia brands. Once the king of the high street, now a diminished figure. Sales at these shops have been falling, profits are down. Today, Arcadia held a crisis meeting in London, asking its landlords to agree a deal that would see them cut rents, while Sir Philip reshapes the company's finances. On the way in, Arcadia's chief executive told me he was confident the plan would be passed. How do you uh, feel about the meeting? Were you? Confident. you? Feeling confident? Hopefully, hopefully. But instead, five hours later, the meeting ended in deadlock, with some of the biggest landlords rejecting the rescue package. It is tough times, but what I would say is that both us and the regulator worked bloody hard to get a deal in place. There'll be another meeting in a week, to try to get this deal agreed. Arcadia has 566 stores in the UK and Ireland, but under Sir Philip's proposal, three of them would close. The plan would also see rents cut by up to 70% in 194 stores. A further 25 shops will be shut under separate insolvency proceedings. And Arcadia will close 11 top shops in the US. In addition, Sir Philip has agreed to put £175 million into the company's pension fund. Sir Philip has also placed more than £200 million of assets as security for the company pension fund, including this, his flagship store in central London. This building alone is worth £185 million. But all that was not enough to persuade some of the country's biggest landowners who refused to accept lower rents. The onus is very much uh, on the Arcadia Group to go away and reflect on what they've heard today and what they've heard from landlords and to come back and rethink with a viable, credible rescue plan. For Sir Philip, recently charged with assault in America, this has been another bruising day. He wasn't in London for this meeting. His yacht, moored in Monaco at the weekend, is now on the Italian coast. Adam Parsons, Sky News.